Hey guys, uh, there are a lot of gaming monitors out there at this time, especially if you want high refresh rate and uh, slightly larger display, like 27 inches. Um, and Acer has been making a lot of good monitors, and they have launched a, uh, a new monitor right now under their Game Open brand. It's called Fire Legend 27HC2R. It's a full HD 27 inch um, curved display with a 4 millisecond response time and it also has a few other features like uh, HDR 400 and uh, low blue light feature as well. So let's take a look how it, uh, how it looks inside the box and then we'll also look at how it plays. Yeah. Alright, let's go through this. So you can see the I.O. panel here, it has uh, the power adapter slot and uh, two HDMI, standard HDMI slots and one display port. I would actually recommend using the display port if you have a cable available. So this is how it looks. We will put it on the uh, stand and we can set it in place. I mean, if, you, if I had done this by hand, it would have taken me maybe another 10 minutes. At least 5 minutes more. That's it. It looks pretty nice. So you can, one of the things you can do with it, you can move it up and down, left and right. I think there must be a little bit of tilt functionality as well. Yeah. This is as far it goes as it goes up. And then you can do this. It's more than enough. I don't think you need anything more than this. And this is how it looks behind. Yeah. Um, you can also add some nice backlit uh, ambient LED lights here. So it looks pretty cool. But otherwise, I think since it's uh, it's not so expensive, it's kind of a budget monitor, so it will not uh, come with preset backlight options. Okay. Now we we'll go and set this up. So we've done the installation of the display here as you can see and it looks very nice. Uh, we also have this LED glow sword thing which comes along with the or rather which uh, I was sent along with the display. So they open and also this gaming mouse. The mouse actually looks pretty nice. The colors are pretty aesthetic. Let's see how it performs in a game though. Um, I'm going to play my favorite game which is Overwatch. So this display, um, out, out of the box it runs at 120Hz. I didn't have to change anything. I think there must be another mode where you can uh, overclock it and set it to 144. I think 165 is the max. So I should be able to overclock it to 165 hertz, but anyway, I'm not going to be able to see that on the uh, video. So, There's okay, getting back to the game. Oh, this looks gorgeous, right? Oh my god, I love the colors. Uh, the display is actually very bright, and uh, it's also the curve 1500 R. I think I can actually set it a little closer, and uh, yeah. I think this probably this distance is the right distance. So just quickly play a game. I'm gonna look for a uh, Havana free for all game, which is the best way to start this game. There is no game available right now, so maybe let's just quickly go to the training room. So this monitor comes with free sync, so 
I need to set the refresh rate to a little bit less than the uh, 120 hertz, uh, which it's currently running at. So I'll set it to custom and make it 115. That should be all right. Ah, so much smoother now. This mouse has a DPI button uh, which lets you change the sensitivity on the go. So this is too high, so I press it once, changes. This is I think ideal for me. And of course you can change the sensitivity in game as well. It's pretty nice. nice mouse um, fits perfectly in my palm so my palm is I don't know mid sized and uh, I can use like a palm grip perfectly all right and it's quite responsive I, I don't really find a major difference from playing on my model O and this I mean I, I don't really notice there's a huge difference I think the uh, size wise and shape wise they are not too different. See, I, my, my shots are pretty accurate right off the bat. So. Alright. Okay, we destroyed enough bots in the training arena. We'll go check out how this uh, monitor performs with videos. Because most of us watch a ton of videos on a PC, so people watch more YouTube content than movies these days. So let's see how it performs here. Yeah. I still get over how bright this monitor is. Oh, let's check this out. Now this is a Jet Li one. I want to see the uh, Ip Man 4 trailer. Is it 4 or 5? Yeah, I think it's 4. This so you are a teacher? I am a teacher. I teach Chinese Kung Fu. Like a gym Yes, something like that. Hey, Chinaman! And I'm here to show you yellow bitches the taste of real combat. Colors are actually pretty nice. They're not washed out. Uh, 1080p is what? The, most of the content on YouTube is 1080p. 99% I would say and because it's a bigger screen you can also put some space between yourself on the screen you don't really have to sit like really close uh, 10 centimeters away or something you can move back like a meter I think 1.5 meters if you're watching a movie it should look pretty nice and now we're going to play my other favorite game is Doom, the 2016 version. Alright. This should look pretty nice on this display. Just go to the arcade mode and Necropolis is a nice level. 
notice it loads super quick because it's running on a NVMe drive. off a few lights and we're going to see if there is any backlight bleed which is normally always there in IPS panels but most of the times they are not troublesome you can live with it so there is a little bit of backlight bleed here um, if you see on the top and the corners which is kind of normal but while we watch videos or uh, while playing games it's something which you don't notice at all so I think it's kind of acceptable. Also, if you have an ambient lighting solution, something like a, a LED strip behind the display, this is something which you will not notice at all. It's going to like become kind of irrelevant even in dark scenes. So it is, that's not, not, not much of a problem. So today we looked at uh, the Acer AOPEN 27-inch uh, gaming display, 144Hz. Yeah, the model number is uh, 27HC2R and uh, I think it's a really good fit if you want a uh, gaming display for uh, running a 1080p 144Hz kind of a setup and uh, you have a graphics card uh, starting from something like a 1660 Ti onwards even a 1660 Super would probably be a decent choice for some for a display like this, but ideally something upward of 2060 or 2060 Super would be perfect for any kind of game. You can probably run any game at uh, 120 hertz onwards. So we also checked out how the video quality looks and uh, the display quality while uh, playing games. Obviously, more than happy to recommend this for. Uh, a gamer or even consuming multimedia or general productivity and work and usage.
look at the menu. So this is another plus point. They have the simple uh, press button kind of a menu, not an annoying uh, multi-button kind of layout. So I just press the single button, menu pops open, and you can change a bunch of things here. This looks like a standard Acer menu. And change the brightness, contrast, the colors. If you want to connect your uh, headphone jack into it, you can change that. There are a few gaming options as well. There's a crosshair you can pick. Uh, we had a look at uh, Acer's new lineup of gaming products, including the this mouse. Um, so the sub brand is called Fire Legend. Uh, this is the logo. This mouse is pretty nice and the uh, display as well and also this this uh, LED light stick as well so it's, I think it's kind of like a Star Wars uh, what do you call it the lightsaber but much smaller and you can change the lighting modes on this this is uh, on and off there's another mode which I like. There's a color shift mode which is pretty nice. Yeah, this is my favorite mode. You just leave this on, keep it somewhere near your uh, display. I think it's really nice to look at. But mostly this monitor has been really impressive. And uh, I would totally like using this as my um, secondary display probably above the one I already have which is a 1440p 144Hz Acer Predator Thanks to Acer for sending out the, uh, the monitor and the mouse and the glow stick We had fun using it and I would be happy recommending it for um, gamers and also for multimedia usage Let me introduce myself a little bit uh, I run Easy PC. Uh, we build custom PCs and this is our main workhorse. The system you saw earlier was a secondary workstation. So any kind of uh, uh, custom PC build, including liquid cooling and uh, workstations, gaming PCs, home PCs, um, any kind of special projects, we do all of those and we enjoy gaming. We are also power users. and. Uh, this is what we love doing so just get in touch with us and we'd be happy to work with you.